<clears throat> hey, so um, I'm going to be showing my new um, composition system for Touch Designer. Uh, I noticed that Touch Designer is really good for video effects, but not as good for directed sequences of clips and effects, sort of stuff you might keyframe. Um, you know, keyframing is not um, super procedural, generally, and um, I like maintaining some flexibility. I wish I could, you know have something more like Premiere um, or like a timeline view that, uh, you know, worked well, um, but also had the you know, effects flexibility of Touch Designer, like the ability to add GLSL and obviously all of Touch Designer's coolness. So I made this um, <clears throat> composition system called Scams Video System. I'm going to be showing a uh, tutorial on this and I'll put a link um, to download all these notes in here. Um, so the first thing you want to do is just delete the project one in your project, make a new project, and drag in Scams Video System. It'll be called Project One. You have to keep it called Project One. Um, I could probably change that. I probably should change that, but um, yeah. <laughs> so um, anyway, then you dive in there, and then you have a bunch of boilerplate. And how this generally works is you have clips over here in the left, and um, they transition into one another. Um, and then you also have effects, so clips can be routed to different effects. You can also like um, lock an effect if you just want um, to keep that effect active or just lock a certain clip. So you can have manual control over it or have it sort of do a, a kind of a state machine type system. Um, so let's just look at what's going on here. So <clears throat> basically I have this first clip here and I'm just going to press set active so that'll activate that i can set active on any of these different clips there's three different types of clips uh, which i will explain all of them but first of all the clip basic um, but anyway all of these have the same parameters which is they have a next so when this clip is done it'll go over to this next clip and you just drag that one in here um, and then so now it's um, playing clip basic and then when this is done it's going to go to clip combined um, and then when clip combined is done, we can send it back to clip basic. So, um, and it's also, it's automatically crossing between them based on this lag time. So if you want like a longer uh, transition time, you can change that. <clears throat> you can also lock a clip. So for example, um, say I wanna set this first one active and then lock it. So now this one will just loop forever. Um, so like I showed, you could either press the set active button or you can type in the name in here of the clip you wanna use and then just click the button um, yep okay so um, I'm gonna talk about effects a little later but basically each of these clips can be routed to different effects um, so let's talk about clip basic for now basically it's just a movie file in <clears throat> and uh, the internals will detect when the movie files in and then mark the clip is done so that's pretty basic here um, Clip combine, and then if you want a, a clip basic, you just drag it in, uh, or you know bring it in, and, and and this by itself just works. You just drag it in. You don't have to connect any wires. You just do set active, and it'll just work. Um, yeah. Clip combined um, <clears throat> is a way to take multiple video clips and kind of combine them into one longer video clip. So um, it'll be treated as one as one video clip. So it's not playing because I have to set this one active right now, but. Um, so how I do this, you know, like um, if I have a lot of short clips, I don't want to have to create a separate kind of clip entity for each of them and set up the routing. I'd rather just um, be able to edit it in the table dat, you know. Um, how I do that is I open up a, a, a longer video. In this case, it's some like nature footage from archive.org. And I bring that into Premiere and then Premiere can automatically split it based on a scene transition. And so now I end up with like these hundred different clips here. And then, um, yeah, I, it's so basically what you want to do is just then bring in the folder that here. Um, and you can specify your folder, um, let's say this one. And so if I want to edit this, say I only want branches in Frozen River. So I edit this and then you'd think I'd be able to just delete all these and then, but it doesn't actually work. So what you need to do is copy this contents and then create a table that, and then edit that, and then paste that in. And this can be edited uh, in a text editor easily. So take my table that, and then I plug that into um, clip combined internal. 
and um, this will just basically cycle through the clips and when the last one is done it'll mark the you know the clip combined as done and you have a couple controls so when you first um, set the table contents you want to do um, init here which will just set some metadata and then um, besides that you can just go next and previous um, and uh, you can see what what index is active up here um, two one two one yeah and then if you have like 100 clips you can set the index to whatever you want just go to index um, yep and um, you know when it gets to the last uh, clip last index uh, it'll mark the clip combined as done like I mentioned and that's pretty much it um, you know there is a built-in node in the tools tab called um, movie playlist but it wasn't really working dependently for me so I just basically rebuilt it um, in a simpler way I guess yeah and then the third kind is a uh, clip freeform which is basically like you just set a duration and then when that duration is done the clip is marked as done so um, if you don't want to like lock yourself to um, you know the movie file in you want to do something a little more flexible like in this case I have this video and it's going forward and then it's going backward um, so there's not really a clear start and end time for that so I'm just saying okay I want to do it for six seconds so basically it's the same as the clip basic except you just add a duration in here and that's pretty much it okay now talking about uh, effects routing so um, let's say I want to lock clip basic right here just for now and then um, I want to set effects so I'm going to choose effects node I can just drag this one up in here um, and now um, the next time the clip plays uh, or I can set it active again but yeah it'll uh, oh, sorry, I think I screwed something up here. Oh, because I have lock effects, that's what's going on. Um, so, yeah. Right, so now now it's going through these this effect over here. Um, and for example, say I, like, I want this clip to have no effects and this clip to have effects. So I transition between the two. Um, let's just have them going back and forth to each other. And let's see here what happens. Right, so now it's playing uh, clip freeform with no effects. And then when this one is done, it's going to go back to clip basic with effects. So um, it's kind of flexible. And if you don't want, um, if you want to ignore the effects routing, you can just click um, lock. So I can do effects set active and then lock the effects here. And so now this effects will always be active regardless of which clip is playing. Um, yeah, and so looking into the effects itself, um, it's pretty simple. It's just basically an input and an output and then whatever you put in the middle But the kind of cool thing is that you have this index fraction available Which is always a number between 0 and 1, you know, no matter the length of the clip <clears throat> So that kind of helps make if you, if you want to animate your clips that makes them a little more reusable uh, if you want to appropriate one animation for um, You know that was written for one clip applied to a different clip so, you know, normally you'd be keyframing on, on frames, right? Um, and uh, that's not really applicable if you load in a, a shorter, you know, or longer clip. So, sorry, I've got allergies. So, pass in this index fraction here to this FX node. Basically, to create an FX node, just drag it in here. And I just basically want to pass in this null as the video, and then this index fraction as the, as the chop. Um, and then inside the effects node, one other thing I'll talk about is the animation itself. So it's not necessary to do an animation, of course. I mean, this is just um, a keyframing system, um, which is built in Touch Designer. But um, I noticed that the keyframing system doesn't really work super well with numbers between 0 and 1. So it's possible I'm just inexperienced with it. But what I found worked for me was to remap this 0 to 1 number to 0 to 600 and then in the animation to input index units as frames. Um, yeah. Um, right, and play mode is use input index. So, um, yeah, and then obviously, you know, I'm, there's probably other tutorials about how to use this keyframer, but you just get this chop value that I can plug into wherever I want. So, um, I think that's pretty much the gist of it, actually. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think so. Yeah, um, I don't know how this works. Basically, a lot of Python and stuff. 
a lot of little little various Python scripts scattered throughout it. Um, um, yeah, I suppose that's it. Um, all right, I'll leave it there. Hope it's useful. Cheers. Um,